and Mauricia. Ah. <laughs> Coming through. That's not a message, it's a love note. Who put this here? <laughs> Where's my message about secretly firing half the faculty? Oh well, better do that later. Carry on, students, and uh, teachers. Well, half of you at least. Oh dear, if they're firing teachers, I better hide! QRST, teachers. Mauricia? You've got to stop putting our names in hearts all over the school. Huh? But, Todd, whatever do you mean? <laughs> Face it, Mauricia. I'd rather do anything than be your boyfriend. Would you kiss a dead rat? Yes, anything. Would you live in Antarctica? Yes. Would you eat Miss Mush's mushroom surprise? Yes. What? what? Is he on me? You'd actually eat Miss Mush's mushroom surprise? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, prove it. Eat it. Okay, I will. Fine. Right now. Let's go. Again, how do you do it? You no dead rat, you dead card shark. Miss Mush, Todd wants to eat a bowl of your mushroom surprise. What? But no one eat that for years, except Sammy. But he did. This wasn't such a good idea. Really? So you'll be my boyfriend? Miss Mush, bring on the surprise! <gasps> Don't do it! You know, it's not that bad. My little superstar. I feel great, Mrs. Jules. I guess Todd was telling the truth, Mauricia. He'd rather eat mushroom surprise than be your boyfriend. Oh, that's how you do CPR. Yes, Lewis, this may be my crowning achievement here at Wayside. You mean the big hole? Or all the teachers you had to fire to pay for it? Hmm, that boy may be hurt. Good thing I know CPR. CPR? I don't need CPR. I'm an L-O-B-E. What an exciting morning. But before I go back to hiding in the cabinet, I'd like everyone to hand in their homework on cheese and macaroni. I did all my work on you and me and matrimony. Oh, how cute. Todd, you're going to marry an alien. I love the antenna. That's not an antenna. That's you and your big fluffy hair. Don't worry, Todd. One day you'll meet your alien from the stars. Now, class, if the principal comes looking for someone to fire, please tell him I'm not here. Mauricia. Yes, Todd? Helmet. 
Anything for you, Todd. Ribbon. <laughs> Do you want a lock of my hair to go with it? <gasps> Come yes, good morning. Mrs. Jules, I made you something. Oh, how sweet. You've turned Mauricio's head into a flower. That's very creative. Dana, what's with Todd? It's like he's fallen madly in love with Mrs. Jules instead of me. And after all I gave him, my helmet, my ribbon, my heart. Oh, Mrs. Jules, why don't we go somewhere together sometime? You know, like on a picnic or to a movie, maybe even a romantic gondola boat ride. Be silly, Todd. Besides, where would you ever find a gondola boat? Oh, solo mio, my gondola and me. Yeah! Oh, please watch your stay. Oh, Lois, why didn't I think of digging that hole and turning the 14th floor into a gondola canal years ago? Um, because it's too expensive and a little insane? Nonsense. Now that we've fired half the faculty, we have all the money we need. Oh, Solata, I'm a Mr. Kitsua. But, Mrs. Jules, there is a gondola canal here at Wayside. I can show you. We can take a ride together, please. Hey, aren't you going to punch him? No, I... I can't. He's hurt me too much for me to hurt him today. Aw, come on. You can still hurt him. Besides, I'm sure Todd still cares for you more than he cares for Mrs. Jules. I don't think so. I mean, you saw it. He'd rather eat mushroom surprise than be my boyfriend. Hey, maybe that's it. Maybe he's just sick from eating the mushroom surprise. You mean, like, food poisoning? No, more like love poisoning. <laughs> Checkmate! Oh, how you do that, Sammy? Miss Mush, you've got to help us. We think Todd had a bad reaction to your mushroom surprise. Dead? Much worse. He's hopelessly in love with our teacher, Mrs. Jules! Ah, <laughs> oh, not again! Science teacher eat mushroom surprise once. He fall mad in love, too! With cactus. Ooh. Wow, how did he get cured? Cured? You're right, Miss Mush. There is no cure for love. There, there, you said. You eat. I give you baloney uh -huh. freezy. It's like ice cream, but no cream or milk. Mostly just baloney. Thanks, Miss Mush, but I can't eat right now. I'm so upset, I feel nauseous. You in right place. Baloney freezy make many people throw up. Of course! That's what we have to do. Throw up? No, make Todd throw up, just like if he had food poisoning. You mean... If we get the mushroom surprise out of Todd, maybe he'll fall out of love with Mrs. Jules and in love with me? Either that, or he make big mess. Oh, Todd, there really is a gondola canal on the 14th floor. Shall we board? Well, Todd, I'm only doing this because I feel bad for not believing you before and because you've been so nice and helpful lately. Exactly, Mrs. Jules. Todd has been so helpful. You should reward him with a delicious ice cream-like treat. Todd, as your reward, you can eat that funny-looking dessert. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Jules, I don't think I'm in love with you anymore. What? You in love with me? Todd, no falling in love with your teacher. Just for that, I'm sending you home on the kindergarten bus. But first, I don't feel so well. Yes, Mr. K? 
Someone ruined my canal. That's it. Drain it and rehire those teachers. A wise choice, Mr. K. And get them to build me a miniature golf course. One other thing, Lewis. Make that man stop kissing that cactus. Ooh. Hello, Todd. Are you feeling better? I sure am. Now that you made Mauricia take down all those hearts. Phew. I'm so glad that's finally over. Lunch already? Get! Eat! Mushroom surprise! Oh, come now, children. <laughs> Miss Mush's food isn't that bad. Then why don't you ever eat it? Me? Oh, uh, I, uh, uh, oh, uh, lunch time! Hmm, something's fishy around here. Yeah, fishy with chips. What? I'm hungry. Lounge. We're not allowed in there. Yeah, but do you smell that? <laughs> you certainly took your sweet time. Now, Ali. Ooh la la, le chef. Everything looks so magnifique. Well, of course it does. Plate. I'm so glad the faculty lounge has its own French chef. I was wondering if I could have some... Next. <laughs> mm. That why they no eat in lunchroom. Okay, kiddies, let's go. Time for lunch. Mm. What that sound? It sounded like moan of pain. No, Miss Mush. That's a moan of pure yummy, tummy satisfaction. Really? I never hear such moan. So delicate, yet bold. These flavors swirl and tumble. They fill me with delight. It's like tasting heaven with each and every bite. Yep, that about sums it up. What? My food is swirly tumble too, no? Of course, Miss Mush, your food is de... Bleh. I mean, <clears throat> your food is absolutely fan... Bleh. Sorry, your food is really, really, really... Bleh. Okay, I see. You like morning food better? Fine, eat it. I quit. <laughs> who was that? <gasps> Wait, who are you? Ooh la la! Now that Mr. Kidswater has made me the head chef of the Wayside School, I will teach these stinky face brats what it is to be a culinary genius! Mm -hmm. What is your problem? One lunch special, please. Le Chef? What exactly is this? What is this? This is a vision of a whisper. The sound of the rainbow. The taste of a dream. This is paradise! I thought paradise would be bigger. What? You stinky little boy who has no taste! I curve my nose up at you in your lunch face of a silly person! Go! Sorte, sorte, sorte! And for the rest of you, from now on, you must stand on one leg and beg for my food. Say, please, please feed my stinky face, le chef. Please, please feed my stinking face, le chef. Oh, 
What a charming man. <laughs> Thank you, Garcon. Now let's dig in. Please, please feed my stinky face. Oh, it looks so wonderful, so delicious. Hey, Le Chef, I'll have one soup of the day. Regardez, la soup du jour. That's it? Hey, is there any chance I can get some crackers to go with that? <laughs> sortez, sortez, sortez! No, but I'm hungry! Sortez, sortez, sortez! But you broke the rules! Sortez! This is ridiculous. We need Miss Mush back. Miss Mush quit the cafeteria, but she didn't go far. I just saw her hang the sign here. www.missmush.mush It's so good now I see you! Except you pickle-stabbing, pony-headed, rhymey rhyme girl. Whoa, what's with all the computers? I started mail-order internet food business. I mail food to happy peoples all over the world. Thanks, Miss Mush. Your liverwurst smoothies are the best flame retardant our fire department has ever seen. Miss Mush? Does it bother you that no one is actually eating your food? Yes, but I make millions of money. Business so good, I even hire an assistant. Sammy! Pick up phone! Pick up phone! Pick up phone! He good assistant, but he dead. So, what Miss Mush do for you? Miss Mush, we need you back in the cafeteria now. You hungry? Why you not say so? Miss Mush feed you. Do we sneak into cafeteria and I make you peanut butter and octopus sandwich? Yes? No! Oh, what, what happened to Miss Mush kitchen? Where pots and pans and squishy thing? Cold fridge? Cooking on stove? Water from pipe? What's this? Sacre bleu! This is my kitchen now. And this thing you call food, I say ha, ha, ha. I say ha to your food. Ha, 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 ha. Whoa, whoa. Can't we just settle this like peaceful adults? We, oui, we shall have a duel. Actually, I was thinking of something along the lines of a cooking contest. Mais oui, a cooking contest. Winner stays, the loser, she go bon voyage. Okie dokie, we just need a food judge. Mauricia, this is your chance. Yeah, maybe if I play it just right, we can get Miss Mush back. Let the cook-off begin. Remember, Miss Mush's food tastes great. It tastes great. Okay, our judge will taste two meals and choose Le Chef. <laughs> I mean, a winner. First up, the winner! I mean, Le Chef! Come on, Mauricia. Just wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> <clears throat> Not bad, but I've been served by better. You have? You're kidding me. Wow. Uh, all right, bring on that other, um, stuff. <laughs> Come on, Mauricia. Don't choke now. Mm -hmm. She said delicious. We have a winner. No, not good enough. I want rhymey rhyme from pickle stabbing pony head, like she make for Frenchy fry cook. Or I go back and make millions of money on internet. Did you say millions? Come on, Mauricia, you can do it. But I've never rhymed anything in my life until I ate Le Chef's first meal. It was just so inspiring. Mm, mm, mm. That Le 
chef can cook, but he's a very mean man. On the other hand, Miss Mush can't cook at all, but she's the best cook ever. You know what I mean. Exactly. There's more to lunchtime than good lunch. <clears throat> I think that I shall never face a pile of mush with such a taste. It's got flavor, that's for certain. And my belly, it's a hurtin'. Yet yumminess is overrated. Sometimes the best food's created by one who knows not cooking art, but makes her food with lots of heart. You right. Miss Mush always cook with heart. And liver and other squishy bits. Okay, I come back cook for you kids. Yay! What? Don't worry. I give you internet business. Okay, Le Chef, you're fired. You stinky face! You imbecile! Crazy people, get your stinking feathers off of me! Crazy, crazy people! Sing the last time to Mouton! Okay, I'm the boss now. Answer the phone. The phone. The phone. Phone. Phone phony. Phone. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,